Okay. Yeah, that's not a week for it to go. I better start this quest. Oh, it's so bright. Uh, oh yeah, that's... That yeah, was quite bad. Uh, go to quest. Um, yeah, it's that. Uh, I really hope this doesn't take too long. I don't really want to spend more than one day here. Day to you both. It's been quite a long time. You're looking well as ever. Hi, Adeline. To what do we owe the honor today? Important business to discuss with Master Diluc, I presume? Uh, we're just actually. That's right! Adeline, since we've run into you, maybe we could just get you to help us with this one. We always miss the winery's discount grape juice, so this time we decided to come here early. Can you reserve a bottle for us? We'll pay a deposit. Just name the price. Just like that? It's my money. Of course I can. And no deposit necessary. But I'm afraid you might be in for quite a wait. Dawn Winery's discount grape juice takes a long time to make. Every summer, Master D. Luke handpicks two barrels of the finest grapes to turn into juice. What? Why sell the good stuff at a low price? Shouldn't the best grapes be the most expensive? Master has never explained his reasoning. If I had to guess, the discount could be a marketing technique. Special deals always attract customers. Perhaps Master hopes to increase the popularity of fruit juice so that people have more options when it comes to drinking. It makes an ideal alternative for the heaviest drinkers, because they won't get drunk and start causing mischief. At the same time, those who don't drink alcohol get the chance to try something new. When they harm the winer's business, shouldn't sound like the most profitable. <laughs> Master D. Luke isn't all about money. I think he would prefer to see people drinking in moderation than chase bigger profits at any cost. Imagine if everyone could just enjoy a nice glass of wine and have a good time while keeping their wits about them and not creating trouble for others. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be a miracle? Wow! Master D. Luke's such a thoughtful guy! So, is D. Luke picking out this year's grapes right now? Not just yet. He has a few more issues to sort out first. He'll start the process as soon as those are out of the way. If you're interested, I'm sure Master Diluc would be delighted to see you and hear your thoughts. What issues? As you know, whenever Master Diluc catches wind of any unsavory guests showing up in Mondstadt, he takes it upon himself to go and <clears throat> greet them in person. It's the same story today. He should be somewhere near Falcon Coast. I'm not sure how long he'll be. In the meantime, would you like to take a seat inside? I have to stay here and wait for some other guests, but Hilly and Mako will be glad to take care of you. And I just go there. Unsavory guests? What is that supposed to mean? I guess he has something to do with the looks part-time job. Huh? You mean the dark na uh the dark and evil abyss order are up to no good again? In that case, Master Diluc's our friend. We can't sit here and do nothing. Well, I kind of had another option there. 
If you're happy to help, that would be wonderful. Master trusts you after all, and you're both very capable. I know he'd appreciate a helping hand. No biggie! The sooner Master D. Luke is free, the sooner we can get a taste of that delicious grape juice. <laughs> Come on! Let's go to the Falcon Coast! Please send Master D. Luke my regards when you find him. Also, do be careful out there. As Master always says, even when the odds of success are nine to one, you must never lower your guard. Well, that's not bad. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. I have the option to come inside. I could say that I was going inside. And the what? This kid did not run. Oh, you know, it's the same thing as always. to D. Luke. Hmm. Maybe it's an adventurer camp. Oh, there's a piece of paper and a notebook over there. Let's read them. Uh, dear drafty hero, we are seeing a repeat of the phenomenon we encountered many years ago. Although you fully resolved the issue last time, the ley line seems to have been stimulated in some way. And releasing the monsters they recorded once more recorded. I'm sure you want to deal with those that pose the biggest threat immediately. So I'm not finding essential individuals per the operating procedures. Hey, judging by the tone, it seems like this was written by someone D Luke knows well. Let's call him D Luke's friend for now. He saw something bad happen, wrote a note for Master D Luke. And then left. Huh. Isn't that pretty irresponsible? What if someone else had seen it? Also, he left his notebook behind. Mm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, you know that strange ley line deposit on the beach? Uh, yeah, I could have gone interact with that before having this conversation. Uh, but that's the phenomenon he was talking about. Other than that, everything seems fine here. Not a monster in sight. Hmm. Do you want to read D. Luke's friend's notebook too? If not, let's head over and take a closer look at the ley line deposit. There are two notes here. Which one shall we start with? First note. It's been years since the Celeste uh, revealed such highly aggressive monsters during an anomaly. The Dark Knight Hero's timing was perfect. The way he lured the monsters a few at a time into the open to defeat them one by one, quite the strategy. And then he pretended to be seriously injured, lurking out, luring out the Evs Order's main forces, and then meeting them head on. A truly magnificent counterattack. Still, this plan involved too many uncertainties. The Dark Knight Hero himself even said that he can't afford to take risks like this every time. Getting to the root of the problem and preventing these types of ley line disorders from happening is the safest approach. Paimon didn't follow all that. Uh, but it seemed to be about a previous battle D. Luke was in? Oh. 
There are two notes here. Second. Ley lines hold many secrets. We ordinary people do not need to concern ourselves with the way they work. But since the Dark Knight hero will be fighting against the Abyss Order for the long term, it is in our best interest to gain the, a deeper understanding of them. I heard that the captain of the Knights of Avenue's investigation team is a highly accomplished academic, but unlike Lisa, he is not especially close with the acting Grand Master. Knight of Avenue's investigation team. Uh, who is that? We should be able to to learn a few things from him without the Knights of Avenue's finding out. Perhaps the Dark Hero could ask him for input on the technical issues regarding the ley lines. I will deliver the letter to his camp on the mouth. Huh. Sounds like it was talking about Albedo. Ah, that's Albedo. <gasps> Did Diluc write a letter to Albedo? I mean, you could always ask, ask us. We know everybody. here in the past. Ah, so that's a uh, younger version here. Yeah. Lines are showing the scene they recorded at that time. Hey, you're right! Now that Paimon looks more closely, this Dilu does look younger than usual. But what happened back then? Why is he fighting here? Hmm. Guess we can just ask him about it when we see him. Hmm. What should we do now? Oh... Uh... Let's observe. Now. Okay, let's see how young Diluc used to fight. I think he's missing a sword. What? The sword quite fits this outfit. Uh, have already been here and most there might be a few remnants left so Dilux already called it a day um will more monsters come out if we go up to that weird ley line deposit again and what about young Diluc? if it's like the other ley line deposits we've seen then it should have disappeared now that all the monsters are defeated so, young Diluc's picture interests, or have you suddenly developed an interest in leyline anomalies? No, no! <laughs> Paimon's just a little worried, is all. What if someone passing by gets curious, comes to check it out, then suddenly, yeah! A monster jumps out and clubs him over the head with a swoosh and a smash! That would be terrible! Why the sun effects? Because it sounds more dangerous! Anyway, we came here to help Diluc, didn't we? So let's stick around a little longer and make sure this place is completely safe before we head back. We've got a strong sense of responsibility. <laughs> Not really. Paimon just wants some fancy grape juice. Mm. Come on, let's finish what we came for. When we get the grape juice, you can have some of Paimon's half. Uh-huh. Mm, 
it will probably opening over time. Uh, this will suck for me. Uh, girls, country, desperate. There's straits. Suck difficulty. Okay, so. Um, Oh, I should. I think people. Out of my way! Confess! Go and play! Tick, 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 fallen leaves. Adorn my night! Wind, hear me! Wind strike! Time to go. Stand with me. As one with wind and cloud. Go and oh, yeah. I swear by my sword. Wind strike. Oh, settle then. Our bond is strong. Confess. Clouds high. The birds call. Barbados, guide us. Go as well. Got a situation. Lightning terrified. Dispatch. Fallen leaves adorn my earth. Wind strike. Confess. Wind, hear me. As one with wind and cloud. Keep moving. Out of my way. I can't hear it. Go as one. Stand with me. I can hit it up there. Wind strike. I don't think I ever fought one of those without creeping out. Barbados, an archer. Confess. Oh. I I managed with I'm this horrible. I wonder if we should have left the ley line deposit alone. Maybe then the monsters would have stopped coming. Also, Paimon still doesn't have a clue what's going on here. <sighs> Shall we just go ask D. Luke? Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on! Yeah. What about the stars? Should I have an option to talk to D. Luke? He returned there already. Yeah, let's let's go with the story and then I'll uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure the story will only end after I finish the last fight. Even if not in the fight's difficulty. You're finally back. I didn't think you'd be gone for so long. Sorry if it was too much trouble. That's okay. We did offer to help. Even if we hadn't come, gone to the Falcon Coast, we probably would have been fighting monsters somewhere else. So anyway, is Master D. Luke back yet? We didn't see him at Falcon Coast. Sorry, I'm not sure of Master's whereabouts either, but I did hear that he recently visited Angel's Chair. After dealing with this kind of trouble, Master is always careful to tie up all loose ends. It's become something of a routine. He should be back very soon. You needn't worry. In the meantime, please make yourself comfortable in the winery. After all that, we managed to completely miss him! Oh well. Let's just wait for him at the winery this time. 
As you guys see, didn't look in the past. Uh, it was worth for the experience. By the way, Adeline, how come you're always standing here at the door lately? Usually you're busy indoors. Hopefully you haven't been standing there waiting for Master Diluc this whole time. Cause that would be really tiring. Oh, thanks for your concern. But I've actually been instructed by Master to meet with some special guests here. Certain guests may need reminding to stay away for the time being. Hmm? Master hopes that under the present circumstances, these guests will keep an appropriate distance from the winery, so as not to make a difficult situation even more complicated. Uh, well, Paimon didn't understand any of that, but it sounds like a really important job. <laughs> uh, what is it that you need our help with? Maybe you could help meet those guests. That's very kind of you indeed. But you've already helped Master D. Luke out a great deal. You can let me take care of these time-consuming chores. There is one small thing you could do for me, though. Please, take this letter and place it on the table to your right as you enter the door. There are a few archived letters on that table already. Just put this one at the very top of the pile. Is this a letter for Master D. Luke? Yes, it's from one of his informants. Only those in Master's inner circle are permitted to handle it or serve as custodian. Ooh, that means we're part of Diluc's inner circle. Hmm, should I know more people of the inner circle? Of course. Master Diluc greatly values your friendship. Thanks again for the help. Please, make yourselves comfortable in the winery. And thanks again for helping with the letter. No. They show one here. There aren't any more. They read it. No. The letter the head housemaid Adeline, Adeline just received. Uh, it needs to be sent to the winery for archiving. The papers are wrinkled. Maybe the person who wrote the letter was in a hurry and couldn't find a desk. What is that supposed to put on the top of the pile? It looks like D. Luke read them just before he left. He must have been in a hurry. Adeline asked us to put this one at the top of the pile, but how are we supposed to tell the order of the other ones? Guess we'll have to read them to get an idea of when they came in. Hmm. We really shouldn't be reading other people's mail, but I Oh, that's true. <sighs> in that case, let's just tidy them up a little. You're here. You move fast. Woo! There he is! So we can deliver all things. What are you agonizing over? Miss Adeline asked us to put these letters in a pile, and we can't tell which order they should go in. But uh, it's your personal mail, so it'd be rude for us to read them without your permission. <sighs> There's no need to be nervous. And I can see from the looks on your faces that they've grabbed your interest. These letters deal with events that are past and gone. I only held on to them in case any of the information they contain proves useful later down the line. I just dug them out to confirm a few details. I've been following some rather unique developments recently. You were involved in the events in question anyway. You can read them if you want to. It's not a bad thing to be curious. Mm. This should have other business to thank you. <sighs> Since you'll be in a huge rush, you don't look like you just got back from the city. Hey, that's a good point. Actually, you kind of smell like wild mountain fruit. Oh, did you go to those mountains where the Valberries come from? Very perceptive. Yes, I did make a trip to the Stormbearer Mountains. I'll fill you in later. Okay, 
looks sweet. Click no also stops. We still have some super important things to discuss with D Luke. Not to mention a whole bunch of questions. Five more, need to calm down. It's been a long time since D Luke's brain is less overwhelmed you, huh? Uh, Alright. Let's just sort these letters for him. Well, since he said he doesn't mind, why don't we read them as we go? Um, the tightly written letter. To the heir of the Ragvinder clan. I apologize for sending this letter without notice. You may not remember me, but we've met a few times. We've met near the square where I sat at a table adjacent to war, yours at the Good Hunter. And I've seen you in your tavern. You were always busy with a great many things, especially back when you were much chattier than you are now. You spoke cheerfully and often with your brother and friends then. It's probably no surprise that you did not notice me then, but I've always had my eye on you, child. I recall with crystal clarity how those little, how my little Clee once made a complete mess of your vineyard while she was trying to catch crystal flies there. But you didn't get angry, in fact, you personally escorted Clee back and even gave her a few bottles of fresh grape juice. Not, I think, that my jugger memory, yes? Lee recently told me that she hasn't seen that strange man with red hair in ages. So I decided to look into, into it out of curiosity. My deepest, deepest condolences regarding your father. In many of the stories I've been told, you are the model knight, proud, driven, a knight of noble character and lineage. But I know that you are gentler than you appear. If you weren't, you wouldn't have treated Klee the way you did. And since you have my shout out, I hope you won't mind if I treat you as if you were my own. Therefore, I sincerely hope that you will leave the dark place that you are presently in, and that you will not allow, not wallow in grief and remorse. Parties are most painful things, but they also encourage us to grow. A bird that has lost the roof over its head will fly further than others of its kind. And go out and see the world. That's the best course of action I can envision. Only by feeling, observing, and listening can your heart be healed. Parents all wish that they can accompany their ch children forever, and the sky sees and stars bear witness to that oath. Everything that was your father now finds new life with you. Uh, that which you will experience in this world may have been things that your father experienced once upon a time. I hope that the wind will bring you all manner of wondrous things in your journeys to come. In any case, keep your chin up, young child. Huh. Paimon's not sure what this one's about. Shall we read another one? Yeah, I just don't know about the order yet. But will they be that long? Uh, don't have. I just have to read them all. I don't. Uh, let me mark here. I see. Now, letter with, with clear handwriting. Master? Master Kaya took leave and stay at Dawn Winery for a few days. Uh, in a rare turn of events, he decided to stay in his original bedroom. He would pace about the grounds when idle and even asked Adeline to make him his favorite dishes. Uh, it really does take me back. I shall be honest with you, but but I was quite surprised to hear the Messiah say that he wanted to stay for a few days. We did not refuse him, however. We believe that even if you were here, you would not refuse him outright. That winery has always been more more quiet location, perhaps all because be, perhaps because all who stay here are rather peaceful people. 
uh, the house is made by those who live in it, and Master Kaya's uncommon arrival did end up living the place up significantly. I hope that you are doing well in your travels abroad. Everyone here at the winery misses you. May, your, may you remain safe and in good health. Okay, this seems more recent, if that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, dear hand writing. I don't know if I'll need to actually order them. Do you want to keep reading them, or have you got the gist now? The gist? I'm just reading them. Okay! Not... Remember, we're trying to figure out when each letter was written. Yeah, but the ones I've read aren't here anymore. Neatly written. Dear Master Diluc. Mr. Diluc. It is my pleasure to investigate the ley lines alongside you. As you know, my focus is on alchemy. Okay, so this is uh, Albedo. So my knowledge of the ley lines remains quite shallow. And I fear that I will only be able to share what little understanding I have. According to my pre-existing documents, the ley lines can be seen as a medium for storing information. Under certain circumstances, they can record activities that occur in the area around them. All this information goes through a recording and storage process. After a certain period of time, they may be released once again by the ley lines. If I may be so bold as to make a guess, there should be a method to activate the ley lines. Those who grasp such methods can control the times at which ley line information is recorded and released. Judging from the runic symbols or in some other clues, I surmise that there are particular members of the Abyss Order who may have a very small chance of being able to activate this. If you believe that this requires further investigation, these entities may serve as your point of entry. I wrote a paper a few years ago in which I covered my brief foray into questions concerning the flow of the ley lines and other such topics. You'll find a copy of this paper enclosed. I hope that it can help you can help to clear up some of your doubts. Alright then, let's put the letters in the right order. I haven't read them all. I wanted to read them all. If there's one thing we can take away from these, it's that Master Diluc has had a pretty difficult past. And I, and I don't know if this one from Abed was before or after Kyle. Not only was he misunderstood by the Knights of Vonius, but he's faced all kinds of other obstacles too. Sounds like it's tough being Captain Pyro. Hmm. Honestly, besides being rich, it sounds like a pretty normal life. Always fighting alone because for one reason or another, it wasn't convenient for the people around him to help out. Yeah, I didn't read that. But it looks like I found some peace since then. Yeah, that's true. Plus, he's got us now. We can give him all the help he could ever want. Oh, out of friendship, of course. Definitely not just for the grape juice. <laughs> mm, Wait, what? Is there a problem? Master Diluc, you're wearing your old outfit again? And you've tied your hair back! You look so... formal all of a sudden. Uh... He looks less formal than his regular clothing. Old outfit? You've seen it before? Yep, it was by that Leyline Anomaly. That was your past self, right? Huh. I'm surprised it made such an impression. Do you mind telling us about it? What happened back then? Why were you fighting there? The same reason as ever. Just stopping another Abyss Order plot. They launched an offensive on several fronts at once. Unfortunately for them, they were still no match for me. 
We were fighting in an area on Falcon Coast, and everything was recorded by the unusually active ley lines. They must have become unstable again recently, causing them to let out all kinds of information from that time. Hence why you saw what you saw. Uh, why didn't you stay there to keep guard? For starters, you only need to deal with the monsters and the ley line deposit will stay dormant, as long as it isn't disturbed again. On the other hand, if I'd done nothing at all, the Knights of Favonius would have taken over straight away. Knowing how they work, they'd be sure to send a large contingent to guard the site. Wouldn't that have been a good thing? Depends. Most of the Knights are away on expeditions, so they don't have a lot of people to spare. If the Ley Line Anomaly was just a diversion tactic, the Abyss Order could have been poised to attack somewhere else entirely, while the Knights were scrambling to send what limited forces they have to Falcon Coast. But anyway, I have no interest in talking to the Knights of Favonius. I prefer to get to the bottom of things myself, rather than waste time negotiating with them. And it was easy enough for me to find out the Abyss Order's plans. Take a few Abyss Mages hostage, and they soon start talking. <laughs> As for the Knights of Favonius, I've sent someone to enlist their cooperation where it's needed. Uh, so there's a joint initiative between you and the Knights? That almost sounds like you're doing those of a favor. It's their job to handle situations like this. They ought to be present when things come to a head. I don't like working closely with the Knights of Favonius because of our differences in philosophy. But that doesn't mean we can't watch each other's backs when it counts. Whoa. Seems like you have even more control over things now than you used to, D-Luke. The best way to deal with any threat is to utilize all the force at your disposal. Anyway, thank you for your help. Adeline brought me up to speed with everything. In return, I have a gift for your trouble. Great juice! The packaging is so fancy! It must be really expensive! This is my personal favorite grape juice made of the highest quality grapes. I happen to have an unopened batch, so I brought you a bottle to try. I didn't know you were such fans of grape juice. Next time you want some, don't bother waiting for the discount. Just go down to the cellar and help yourselves. It's on the house. Woohoo! Pyman's gonna tell everyone we meet that we're VIPs at Don Winery! This one bottle must be worth at least, like, 50,000 mora! <laughs> and he gave it to us for free! Mm, I think I'd rather sell it. Thank you so much, Master D. Luke! <laughs> if you're free tonight, you're welcome to stay for dinner. Adeline is already making it. Uh, there are, however, a few things I need to take care of before dinner time. Things that involve fighting? Yes. Passiveness is not my style. Though I had my suspicions at the start, everything I've come across so far in my investigation suggests that the Abyss Order was not behind this. Since this arose from natural causes, it's time to wrap things up. Um, so what should we do? Well, in for the Mora, in for a lot. Right! Sure! After all, he did just give us this amazing grape juice. Wait, no. Uh, what was it? After all, even when the odds of success are nine to one, you must never lower your guard. <sighs> well said. In that case, let's get going. Okie dokie, Captain Pyro. You can take it a little easier this time. Come on, let's go! This is the final battle. Then we can put all this trouble behind us. I kinda wanna read those letters. Uh, do I just drink that? Okay, it's safe here. Gift from Diluc, a bottle of grape juice with luxury packaging. Uh, it, it is something Paimon has long been looking forward to. 
were more so a memento of the time when you and your friends handled the crisis together. It is also Diluc's personal favorite, produced only produced using only the winery's best quality grapes. Being Master Diluc's favorite grape juice seems to have a inestimable commercial value. These yes. letters cover a whole load of different events. Oh, Paimon never knew Diluc's past was so complicated. We're really gonna have to study all the details to figure out how everything fits together. Which letter do you want to read next? Okay. Uh, finally, uh, at the clear. Uh, uh, damn. I didn't write down the last one. Rough handwriting. Do you look? Jim wrote to me lately with shocking news. If I don't miss my guess, she wrote to you too. Her sentiments are those of the night as a whole. Crepus was a good man, that's his father, and I thought very well of him. Uh, it grieves me greatly to know that he met such that he met with such a fate. As for the defeated the defeat of the Drake, the honors for that accomplishment should go to your father. They defeated a dragon together. I do not accept Eroch's theft of the credit for that deed, which was brought with your father's sacrifice. Stolen credit will not be accepted within the Knights of Ravonius under any circumstance. I will not permit it. I have already given Jean the authority to punish Eroch with all necessary survey. And the knights will inform you of the results. So I, I think this is the uh Ray Master. Well how long have they been gone? I thought there was something kind of recent that Jean was in charge. Uh I don't think I would need that, but okay. Rough handwriting was probably be this was probably more recent from his father's death than uh, Alice's letter. I've heard that you've been taking some time off outdoors and it may not be easy to reach, so there's no guarantee that my letter will reach you. As such, I'll stop here for now. If it does reach you, then I wish you good health and safety in your travels. Contact us if you need anything. I hope the Falcon, the Falcon of yours, will help put this letter in your hands. I mean, I don't write in person very often, you know? Uh, this may seem like pointless words to you right now, but remember, even the greatest of disasters must come to an end. Most that wait for your return, and if you're willing, the Knights will always welcome you. If you're not, forget I said anything, yeah? These letters were really gonna. Which letter? Uh huh. Let's read. Lightly, clean writing. I think neatly is the one from the Crimson Gillock, English Getting Lines. Yeah. Neatly is. Let me just mark here. I yeah I don't know why she said I had to keep an eye on it because they're already marked. These letters were really good. Which letter do? So I'm missing the elegant handwriting. Dear Diluc, welcome back to Mostad, sir. It has been some time since the instant we discovered that Eric has betrayed us, and has been punished severely. I hope that this news will put your mind at ease. In other news, our people have discovered that the Abyss Order has stepped up its activities between Wolvenon and Stonegate lately. Also, a mysterious individual that people are calling the Dark Knight Hero has suddenly started showing up out of nowhere all around Monstead City. 
He typically acts in the dead of night, and his intention, intentions are currently unclear. Please stay safe, and notify the knights as soon as possible should you see anything suspicious. We will send support immediately. Whether you are presently in our ranks or not, all faithful knights will remember your contributions to the Knights of Avonius. I think this is Jean. May you remain in good health. Okay, yeah, don't know what was the point, but... I see. He traveled soon after his father died and left this force. Oh, I can go down now. Oh no, I never noticed it here. Oh, it's beautiful him writing. There are a few more letters. Take your pick. Let's read one. Oh, more. Oh, hang on. This is no. I don't want any of those. Those are sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, let's skip this one because I want to read them. Oh, are we? Not like that. I'd say this is the one. Another bunch of letters. Which one do you think we should start with? Oh, come on. Place them in order. I don't care. I want to read them in order. Hey, there's another bunch of letters here. Diluc must have read these ones recently, too. Which one shall we read first? One. Two. D. A storm is brewing within the Knights of Avonius. Varkas inner circle is preparing to investigate Arok and his henchmen. Who is this Arok? And it's looking increasingly likely that Arok is about to get unseated from the high power surface. You might not be too pleased to see this letter of mine, but I mean to get this news to you as soon as possible. You don't have to reply. I think those are from Kaya. Hey! Then which one shall we read first? To D. Even I was a little surprised to hear that you decided to leave on a trip. Jin wanted to write and try to dissuade you, but I advised her against it. As for Varka, I don't think he knows... He knows that about this. Otherwise, he'd have probably set you down for a talk. If you like to leave, do it now. The less the people know, the less the goodbyes you have to say. Uh, leave that and I too, so things won't be so sudden. Too sudden. -y. Take care. Hey, then which one shall we read first? Three, two, D. Some slightly bad news. Eric won't be quite so difficult to bring down after all. Slightly bad news. Won't be quite so difficult to bring down after all. This sounds like good news. The Grand Master's order to investigate has certainly dealt him a major blow, but I wouldn't call the problem pull up by the roots yet. The matter's being handed over to Jean's jurisdiction. She'll take care of this, I believe. Aerok is an obstacle in her path in any case. Just sit tight and wait for the good news. Uh, so that's why he left the Knights of Aponius. And his beef with Kai is probably because Kai stayed. Which one do you think we should start with? Should D. Recently a group of businessmen returned to Mostad. Word is that the reason for the return is a downturn in business. According to my observations, their employees are regulars at Angel Share. These people can also be found out in the more dangerous parts of the wilds around the city. Now, a few of them were a little careless and even dropped some pages of their notes on the ground. I took the liberty of returning these sheets to the Angel Share. You know, out of the goodness of my heart. Uh, I think they they might have something to do with you, seeing how, seeing as how they were there. I also noticed that their notes were written in code. Information brokers, perhaps, or some kind of secret organization. Whatever the case, it took 
quite a lot of efforts to see those blurred words with only one eye, you know? Don't worry, I'll keep this a secret. But isn't he using that eye patch just because he inherited that? I, I suppose he could take it off to read better. Uh, that was the port. Another bunch? Which one do you think we should start with? To me, I didn't try to hide it from you on purpose, you know? But I suppose you found out all the same, huh? I mean, not everyone who wears an eye patch must be blind, right? Don't people also wear an eye patch if they have a scar over their right eye? The long awaited good news is finally here. Now I'm going to bring a glass of wine when I go to watch Eric pack his things and leave to on his last day. Good readings, by the way. That should be fun, eh? I know you're not the type to do this sort of thing, but I am, so allow me. Another bunch? Which one do you think we should start with? Chundi? Oh no, no sooner did you get back. Then a mysterious character started popping up. I hear he's called the Dark Knight Hero. He has repeatedly fought off treasure hoarders and monsters in the monster area. And he's even attacked the Abyss Order strongholds. So far, it seems like he's almost at sight. But the Knights of Avonius could never permit the existence of a vigilant. I get the feeling that the two of you would get along nicely. Why don't you find an opportunity to get to know him and give him some sage advice? You know, just so he doesn't get caught by the knights. There are a few more letters here. Take your pick. Let's read one. Chundi. Per standard procedure, the knights of Avonius need to take statement from all relevant parties. Recently, the Knights of Avonius have received reports from a number of eyewitnesses claiming to have seen the Dark Knight hero in the vicinity of the Dawn Winery. The Grey Master has assigned the Cavalry Company to his, this mission. As such, I will be paying you a visit in three days. He seems to think that our relationship can be improved if we are forced to talk in person. Don't worry though, my lips are sealed. This will be nothing more than a formality. Anyway, three days notice should be enough for you, I presume. There are a few more. Take your pick! Let's read one! Chundi. The appearance of the Dark Knight Hero has indeed brought the Knights of Favonius some valuable time during the Abs Order's last attack. This helped Jin convince the Knights of Avonius to stop focusing on trying to stop him. This will decrease the limits of the... Won't this increase? The limits of the Dark Knight's... Dark Knight Hero's actions. But this doesn't mean that the situation will necessarily improve. Objects uh, with, two, with two horns on edge tend to be damaged more easily. You, I'm sure, are aware of the great dangers that come uh, with acting alone. Uh, that said, I would advise against such course of action. There are a few. Take your pick. Let's read one. Chudi, I heard that the win down winery did not suffer any damage. Likewise, the Knights of Avonius only sustained minor injuries, and will recover quickly. However, an employee of a local merchant has gone missing, and their last known location just so happens to align with the Abyss Order's area of activity. The knights have dispatched people to go to the rescue. Uh, do be aware that the Abyss Order has become more dangerous as of late, even going so far as to organize multi-pronged offensives. Perhaps the Dark Knight Hero and the Knights of Avonius should team up that might guarantee that things will go off without a hitch, huh?
Back there. Ah, no, I'm with him. Ah. Get with me! Clouds high. The birds come up. Settle this. Let's go and Dawn, break forth! Done. The ley line deposit will disappear before long. The battle went very smoothly. All thanks to the power of teamwork. See, even Captain Pyro needs his trusty sidekick sometimes. It can't be Master Diluc saving the day by himself every single time. Many hands make light work. Sidekicks. Hmm. I want a uniform. It's been a long time since I last worked with others. It's not so bad. If the opportunity arises, let's team up again in the future. So, that was it. The story was that, just that. A bunch of letters and two talks with you, look. Okay. Let's fight them. Uh, the spire. Uh, yeah, no, I, I didn't need the, an archer there. I, I'm not getting archer now. Okay, there's traits. I can grab those three. Can I just go on the easiest one and then? This harder, I and mean, this is the optional one because this is the only thing that really matters to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. There is no escape. Now you shall perish. Verdict is order guide you. Come on, just because we can I, do it. And I have a bow that I have to use. Stabilize. I don't think I'll be able to put this behind me. Torn to oblivion. I will have order. Quake. Solidify. Order guide. Verdict is. Let's dance. Now you shall perish. Stabilize. This is order. Time for retribution. Inazuma shines eternal. I know you have a well equipped party. There is no escape. Same. Uh, big battle again. Order, guys. Stronger enemies. If time is not an issue, I can do it. I'm thinking. Uh, Let the show begin. I get lazy and get so saying I feel right artifacts. Shine down. Burn. 
Let's just complete the other ones. Solidify. Time for retribution. There is no escape. Now you shall perish. This is order. Gather. Illusion shattered! Inazuma shines eternal! Shine down! Time for retribution! I will have order! Solidify! Now you shall perish! There is no escape. Shine down, torn to oblivion. Another time. Let the show be. Verdict is. I got you. 
Oh, screw it, we have to hang on. That's, that's the case. Oh, if it's for reactions, I better use the other party. I have it. The ones I'm currently opening friendship. Time to go. Just this open. Another test. We strike. I swear by my sword. As one with wind and cloud. Out of my way. Confess. Clouds high. The birds call. Wind, hear me. Get moving. Our bond is strong. Wind strike. We got a situation. Cyclone. I'll settle this. As one with wind and cloud. I swear by my sword. Can't fool me. Stand with me. Time to go. Clouds high. The birds call. Out of my way. Wind, hear me. The bond is strong. One after another. Wind strike. Yeah. Damn, this Kaspa is quite weak, but he can take care of so many enemies at the same time. Ah, uh, uh, thanks. Now I, I gotta read those things before entering the fight. Okay, if it's Claymore, let's change back to Diluc. Nobody in that party has Claymores. Uh, deal damage to opponents when using Claymore 15 times. Okay. I'll protect us. Stabilize. Order guide you. Gather. There is no escape. Retribution! Stabilize! Now you shall perish! This is order! Illusion shattered! Burn! Okay, that works. Solidify. Let's dance. There is no escape. Go! 
allies. Illusion shattered. Time for retribution. Okay. And slash one frozen reactions. Uh trigger frozen reactions. Okay, uh hydro okay I need somebody who uh let's change Barbara oh okay I know go to place in the place. Oh uh, yes, I may have. I, I don't think I have them set up anymore. But yes, with Venti and Akaya. I, don't I think await I've, your instruction. I changed their. Whatever was quick to them. Since I used them. And it could deal a lot of damage real quick. Gather! Whirling snow! No, 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 let's not keep them. If I have water, yeah, yeah, you'll be faster, you'll be faster. Let's switch. Um, I kind of want to join me here. Uh, let's quick set up. Take you out, take you out. You go first, and well, let's keep Barbara here so we can freeze I'll take everybody. Care of it. No, I didn't. I didn't. I changed the party. That's not a change. Kami Sato Ayaka. My apologies. Yeah. Done. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just some, just for it. It's not really even worth it. I, I just don't enjoy the challenge anymore. But I prefer the way. The game is now. If you like the challenge, there is a minor reward for you to complete it. If you like the challenge, you go for the challenge, and that's it. And there was something here for completing that. And yeah, that's all I had to do today. There's still one to unlock, probably Wednesday or Thursday, I'll play this one then, so I complete them all. And I 
anything worse. Eternal. Yeah, I just. I'm glad he wasn't that long. So now. Tomorrow, I probably won't play too much as well. I just need to complete the last dungeon, the last palace of Adventure of Link. In the next week, um, I'll start Link to the Past. Well, yeah, let me stop this one here.